Hello, everybody. Welcome back. In the last two sessions, we had introduction to Python. We tried to understand what are the features of Python that makes it so very popular. We also explored a bit of history of Python, understood how that language has been designed. And we had also had a basic discussion as to what programming languages are and other things. We have also explored the features in detail. We have seen the TOIB ranking, which is a very clear indication about increasing popularity of Python. Today, we are going to look at something very important. And what is that? We are going to look at the alternate implementations of Python, which are available. Now, why is this important? Because Python is not just like any other programming language. It's something very, very different. Now, what is that difference? And how does it make Python so very interesting or so very exciting to learn? That is what we plan to learn today. So today we are going to look at various Python implementation. Now you may be wondering, well, how about an implementation? Language is language. Like I have learned C or C++ or Java, we have those language. Likewise, Python is just one other language. That may be your thought, but the story is slightly or very different. While we learn this course, we are definitely going to learn Python as a programming language. We're going to learn that. We are going to learn every aspect of Python programming language. But then important thing is you have learned, but you will be using it somewhere. You will be using it with some applications or for developing the entire application. There is where today's discussion will help you a lot. So let's discuss various implementation of Python. Now, when I say various implementation of Python, the Python that you and me, both of us, or most of us end up using, you may say, sir, we go to python.org, we'll download that python.org, say Python, I had shown you how to do that. And there are various implementation available for various operating system, and we'll start using it. Let's revisit that site, python.org, and let's try and search, do, is there any indication about what is to come in Python? So let's visit this site, python.org. I hope the browser is visible to all of you. Is that visible? Yes, sir. So let's yes. visit, visit python.org. So while we visit python.org and when we go into downloads, it says, okay, download Python 3.9.2. That's the latest version that is available. So when I go here for download, it will directly download. But then you had a choice. What is the choice that we had instead of directly downloading? You had a choice to see the full list of downloads even when we see full list of downloads, it's telling us you want to have Python for Windows, for Linux, Unix, for Mac, for any other operating system. So Windows and Linux and Mac are three most popular operating system. In other than if you want any, any other version or any other uh, operating system, so you have Python for AIX, Python for IBM, uh, the AS400 series, Python for uh, the iOS and the iPad OS. There are so many, Solaris, Risk OS, HP UX, VMS, and so on. Is that the topic for today's discussion? No. So what are these various versions that we see over here? Understand, last time we introduced ourselves to a concept called as PVM. Does it, anybody remember the uh, full form of PVM? We had discussed this in the last session, PVM. Python virtual machine. Virtual machine. It was a Python virtual machine. The implementation of this Python virtual machine is different for different OS. So when you see Python for uh, Linux or Python for Mac, Python for Windows, when you see that, understand the virtual machine implementation, that C program, which is going to run on Linux, Windows, or Mac, or with whichever listing that we are seeing, that is different. But the language that you and me are going to use is still the same. So Python language for a Unix programmer, for a Mac OS programmer, for a Windows programmer, or AS400 programmer for AWD, Python instructions are going to remain the same. But the virtual machine, which will run on that particular uh, uh, Python, uh, run on that particular OS, that's definitely going to be different. But are we the creator of virtual machine? No, we are Python developers. Since we are Python developers, whichever virtual machine that may be, uh, whichever uh, operating system that you may be working with, the creators of the operating system or the Python project designers, they must have supplied you the PVM for that OS. So as long as the PVM for the OS is available, your Python program is definitely going to work on that particular OS. So prerequisite for our Python program to run is availability of that PVM, Python virtual machine for that OS. 
so what is today's topic for discussion today's topic for discussion is alternate implementation of python which are currently available in the market and why should we learn okay because we are going to learn python not in isolation python is just going to be one of the uh, technologies in our stack why am i saying so because today's world we never develop a, a software entirely through one pro particular programming language or one particular tool nothing it's like use the best of the tools available for doing that particular work and you have a technology stack so in one application you may have your ui in uh, J- javascript your backend programming in uh, python or java you you may have your database in something else so all those tools put together will create one technology stack for you so while you are working with python suppose somebody has some part of the modules which have been designed in c language and something in c++ and something in java then for some part can i use python for uh, interacting with both of them or something like that now that's a big challenge it's very difficult for two different languages to interact with each other so i have a code in which i have written something in c and i want to use in python now uh, or something in c and i want to use it in java or i have written something in java and i want to use it in javascript now that's quite difficult not anymore when it comes to python the python that we are going to use okay it has displaced c++ and became the second most popular language in the it has displaced c++ last year java this year and become second second most popular language after c today in the world but then a lot of people i have heard especially the youngsters who are just joining college i i have heard that they have been told c c++ are dead language you need not learn those languages and you rather need to go it with uh, the the language d the python the r scala and so on story is not this uh, very correct even today c happens with happens to be the most popular language across the globe when i use the word popular means it's more widely used in different ways the python that we are going to use the python that we are going to use or most of the people use the technical name of that particular python that we are using is actually c python and remember this letter c stands for c c as a language so what do you mean by this so what we are going to use the original implementation of python which is available from python.org it's not just python it is c python that means the python that has been implemented by using c language what do you mean by that that means every command that we write internally the implementation of that command python command has been given in c language so what we are going to use is c python so if somebody ask you which flavor of python are you working on so we are going to work with c python are you work on any python the command that we are going to write is the same but the implementation of the command has been done in c this is the most maintained implementation of python written in c language so python itself has been created in c language a lot of times i cannot resist myself from calling python as sugar coated c while people run away from c saying that its syntax is quite complex is difficult to uh, just to remember it a lot of times people run from python saying it uh, run from c saying that its syntax is too complex there are too many places i, I may commit mistake there are too many lines of code that we have to write but fact of the matter is python language itself has been created in c language and i'm going to show you the proof of it i'm not just joking around i'll show you the code of the language that we are going to use the implementation of python the standard implementation so why should we worry about this implementation because any latest feature that is introduced in python you'll first find that latest feature introduced in c python rather this is the standard implementation that acts as a reference for all other implementations of python which are available the committee who manages the life cycle of python language they implement python in c language so what we are going to learn is c python all new language features appear here first so any new feature of python that you see in the market the first place where you find it being supplied uh, that will be the c python c python provides a baseline set of tools for working with python now when i say baseline set of tools now it will tell what python standard is talking about so standard library implementations you will find in this c python now there are number of third parties number of other companies which will provide on top of it something more but the minimal implementation the baseline implementation the standard implementation of python that you see will be available in c python it is a bytecode interpreter your bytecode is executed on c python virtual machine that means the implementation of this virtual machine is also done in python c language 
So the heart of the Python, which anyway, remember last time what we had, we said, I had told you what code you write in Python language that never runs because every code that we write in Python is translated into byte codes. Byte code is a format of instruction that the virtual machine can understand. So for you and me, you'll be writing Python commands, but what is actually running is not the Python command. Every Python command is in, uh, translated into every Python command is translated into byte codes and the interpreter or the heart of the PVM, which is a Python virtual machine, which is, which is there, the processor of the Python virtual machine, we can say the brain of the Python virtual machine that you can say that can understand only byte codes, correct? But that brain of Python virtual machine has been created in C language. So it's a C implementation that is there. Now, amongst you, you know, C kya hai? they can quickly recollect what happens. C is platform specific. That means the program of C that you compile and run on Windows machine, that the same program, if you pick, pick compile code, if you pick and you try and run on Linux, or if you try and run on Solaris, or you try and run on Mac, that's gonna fail. Because C language is platform independent, but the compiled code of C is platform dependent. And that's the reason when we say we need to have Python, one Python for Windows, another Python for Linux, another Python for Mac, what does it mean? Something bit technical, at least try and understand. If you don't ask me, that means somebody, somebody with the uh, Python foundation, they have written a C code. Listen, listen to me very carefully. They have written the entire Python virtual machine in C language. And suppose Akash has Windows machine, Aniket has Linux machine, Chaya has Mac OS machine, and Devyani has uh, AS400 machine. So what does Python foundation do? Python Software Foundation, okay, Py PSF, Python Software Foundation, they will compile the same C code. Suppose I'm Python Foundation. I'll compile that particular Python code using a Windows compiler, C compiler, J Visual Studio, and the output file that is again created, that is the P Python that can run on Windows. Aniket had Linux. So I'll take the same Python code that I have written, C code that I have written. I'll compile it using GCC, C compiler, and the output file, exe file, that, uh, executable file that gets created, I'll give it to Aniket, so Aniket can run it. Likewise, Chaya ke liye Mac OS chahiye, so I'll take Mac compiler. Devyani ke liye AS400 chahiye, so I'll take a compiler, C compiler for AS400 and translate the same C code, compile the same C code and translate it into a format that can run on that OS. So I'll ask Chaya, aapke was AS400 hai, kya aapke machine pe Python installed hai kya? Agar unke machine pe PVM is already running, my Python program can run. Because she has installed that engine that can understand the bytecode. So PVM is just an engine that can understand the Python instructions, Python bytecodes, it can understand. And the implementation of that PVM has been done in C language and by whom? The creators of the Python, the Python Software Foundation, the creators of Python have implemented the Python language in C. That means the PVM of that language has been implemented in C. Have you understood? If there is any query, please ask. Has everybody understood? Koi query hai kisi ko? Give quick feedback. Yes, no, samaj maya. Yes, no. no. Ar koi question hai to puchhe ga. Sir, then Python code, uh, sir, when we write in C, there is a concept called macro. And before going to a compiler, that micro, whatever we use, they are written in code. So whatever we write in a Python, they finally get converted into C. So Python is somehow like that. Let me explain. Just give me a What Nikhilesh said is one big uh, misconception about Python language. Whatever you write in Python is never translated to C language. Listen, whatever you write in Python is translated by the compiler, Python compiler into bytecodes, not to C language. So there is no C language that will come into picture. That means today I'll be, uh, means next session, we'll start with Python command. 
one of the first python command that i'll write is print hello everybody is what i'll write now when i say print hello everybody that's a python command now if it gets converted to c there will be a problem then i need to compile it by using a c compiler and we are not going to use a c compiler aapke machine pe c nahi bhi rahega to bhi python ka program run karne wala hai reason for that is the story is slightly different there is a program called as pvm that understand only one set of instructions not c language it can understand only one set of instructions that is byte code byte code a special instruction set that pvm can understand but that program that pvm it itself has been created through c language so you require a c compiler to create python virtual machine but once that python virtual machine has been created that's an executable file that's a program that's an application and that application can understand only one instruction set that's byte code it will not understand python it will not understand c language it understands only one instruction set that is byte codes means you write a python command the python compiler i told you last time there is a python compiler also not just interpreter there is a python compiler the python compiler will translate this particular instruction so called interpreter people say interpreter but okay let me say interpreter it will translate that particular code into byte codes and those byte codes will be sent to the pvm and pvm can understand those byte codes and it will carry out operation according to the byte code let me tell you more about that pvm pvm is not something magical it's one of the simplest code that has ever been written you may be wondering mai kya baat kar raha hu simplest code that has been written yes it is one of the simplest code that have been written jisko thoda bahut bhi programming aata hai you will find it very easy to understand the pvm code as well can you see the whiteboard yes sir okay on the whiteboard you will see this box that is there and this is precisely what it actually does sorry kaha gaya whiteboard here you go so what actually happens is what it does there is something called as uh here there is a byte code and for every byte code there is a corresponding meaning and the operation that we need to perform every byte code has a meaning so when you come across that byte code this is an operation that you have to perform that is what it says every byte code has a meaning so when you come across that particular byte code this is the operation that you have to perform unfortunately i missed it एक मिनट दोबारा कर लेते हैं रिव्यू है के यहाँ लेट बी ड्रॉ द लाइन वन सेकेंड एनी सो देर इज अ बाइट कोड एंड देर इज अ करस्पॉन्डिंग ऑपरेशन सो वॉट हैपन्स दिस सिंबॉल टेबल दिस इज कॉल्ड एज अ सिंबॉल टेबल सपोज दिस इज कॉल्ड एज अ सिंबॉल टेबल this uh, simple symbol table is the basis for the python engine what does it do here what has been listed are various python commands are uh, various byte codes and the corresponding operation what to do when this byte code is encountered there is another byte code what to do when that byte code is encountered there is another byte code what to do when that byte code is encountered there is another byte code what to do when that byte code is encountered such table has been created and we have this python interpreter what it does when you write a python program listen to me very carefully yeah when you write a python program say this is your python program that you have written this python program is translated this python program is translated it is translated into byte codes it is translated into byte codes and these byte codes are fetched and forwarded to this uh, engine the python interpreter and what does the python interpreter do whenever it come across any byte code over here yaha koi bhi byte code dikhai deta hai to is engine mein dhoondega wo it will search in this particular symbol table ha ye kahan instruction hai ha ye instruction hai with this instruction encountered this is what i have to do agli bar yaha koi aur instruction hai it will say yaar ye instruction kahan hai this is the instruction if that is instruction i'll do this operation so it is just nothing but a big table uh, which has a python code uh, which has a byte code and correspondingly it has an operation what to do when that byte code is encountered so you write write the dot py file a python file python file is translated into byte code it is translated into byte code this byte codes are interpreted you will read this byte code check is symbol table dekhe ha ye byte code hai so what is the corresponding operation here is ka operation hai to do this operation so that's the simplest implementation for this engine that is actually available so what has been done for the python evaluation engine there is this dictionary that is there you can say it's a symbol table it's a dictionary and in dictionary what do you have command Uh, the word and the meaning 
So likewise, there are Python bytecodes. There are commands. Every Python command is translated into equivalent bytecodes. So the programmer who have created the Python PBM, they check in this dictionary. Do I have this particular command? ये bytecode है क्या? तो bytecode है तो corresponding क्या operation करना है? तो we'll just run through that entire dictionary, find the bytecode, and carry out the corresponding operation which has been listed according next to the bytecode. That's how simply it has been implemented. and there is a big if else construct that actually goes around with it because python uh, bytecode ka koi ek hath code nahi hai there are hundreds and hundreds of bytecodes which are there so it has to know uh, about every instruction ki ye code aaya to kya karna hai ye code aaya to kya karna hai and so on we can search for this entire implementation as well let me see if i can quickly download that uh, implementation sir this is the reason why it becomes slow na uh, yes this is one reason why it become works slow and this is the reason why it uh, operate line by wise because it search and then execute search and execute uh yes search go through that list and then uh, run it very correct okay everybody have a look here while i showed you द पाइथन दिस थिंग पाइथन कहाँ से डाउनलोड करना है ऑन द सेम वेबसाइट यूल ऑल्सो है पाइथन डाउनलोड्स में पाइथन सोर्स रिलीज ना इफ आई गो टू द सोर्स रिलीज हियर यूल हैव दिस सोर्स दैट इज अवेलेबल कैन यू सी दिस जी जिप सोर्स स्टार बॉल एवरीबडी कैन सी दैट सर ना इफ यू गो टू दिस सोर्स सपोज वी डाउनलोड दिस पर्टिकुलर सोर्स ओ इट्स ऑलरेडी देयर विथ मी आई जस्ट गो टू दैट लोकेशन एंड डाउनलोड दैन पिक इट अप so we just saw it's already there with me so i'll go in my machine to that particular location where python has been kept d colon python and then i have a folder called as software acha you can see only the browser i'll go to my folder called as software software i already have kya baat hai empty hai folder Okay, I colon software, and somewhere I may be having the implementation. Python software. Here we go. This is the Python application, and this is the implementation. Now, if I open up this particular implementation, if I say open with, and I'm going to take my uh, zip manager. Here we go. Here you will find this tar file. I'm going to open up this particular tar file for you. And here, what you see over here. these are all implementation of python which is there so if i say python what do you get to see over here kya dikhai de raha hai dot c file dikhai de raha hai sare c hai the most important file over here is this c eval dot c ye python ka heart hai so those who know c language i would recommend them to see this particular code and agar if you see this code this is where the entire logic of python has been given and one small interesting thing i would like to show you over here there is one for loop and that loop ka zara implicit dekhi sare functions hai and they are actually carrying out operation when that python code is encounter do this jo do karna wala operation hai wo yaha kahi to dikhai dega but in addition to that there is one switch case over here so i just want to show you our if else construct over here let me see if i can show you that if else construct or let me search directly for if is look at that entire implementation is in c language and those who have learned c language you can at least start reading this code particular code but i, I want to show you something very different isme ek ha ye dekhte there is a switch case which is there this will be one of the largest biggest switch case that you have ever come across in your life huh? listen to me very carefully what i'm saying it will be the largest switch case at least what i have ever come across in my life So what is this opcode? That opcode was that bytecode, huh? and all all printf commands and everything. Huh? That means everything. Now, when I'm saying there is a dictionary in which there is a code, bytecode, and corresponding to bytecode, there is an operation to be performed. So this opcode is that bytecode what we are talking about. That opcode is a bytecode, huh? and now here it says if the bytecode is target, then call this function. If the bytecode is target with this particular thing, then call the, perform these operations. and so on there are for every every bytecode there is a uh, bytecode called as load constant store east pop top root so it's just telling you what is the bytecode so for each of the bytecode if the bytecode is this do this operation if the bytecode is this do this operation 
and believe me this is one of the biggest switch case you will ever come across in the life in your life agar ye yahan se start ho raha hai line number dekho kya hai 14 64 aur ek kha khatam hua hai dekho to zara ek kha khatam ho raha hai switch case it is getting over at it is getting over at 3024 3724 yani it's more than 2000 lines switch code that is there 2000 yahan tak 3000 iske upar khatam hua hai because it starts over here and it ends over here yahan se yahan tak okay so that's the big kind of switch code switch case that you ever come across ye dekh scroll karne mein koi point hi nahi hai because ye cases chalte rahenge cases chalte rahenge kahan tak chalte rahenge up till 3000 something 3700 look at that ye case dikha de raha hai case this is the byte code okay This is the byte code. This is the byte code. The last one, little, little, both cases. No, no, no. Case, 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 case. This is the byte code. So these are all byte codes. So what you write in Python language that is converted into these codes, and C program actually runs that particular operation, carries out the operation. So, but this is not the program that gets executed. This program is already compiled and kept in the memory. That's your Python virtual machine. So what I have shown you right now, this is the last case. It looks like. this there no uh case 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 yeah now that that is the last case that is there 3700 something that is the last case so this is the code that is actually going to get executed while you are trying to run the python code so i have shown you the actual implementation of python so the python language code never runs python language code never runs c language program also never runs C language program is translated into a format that your hardware can understand, that your OS can understand, that your platform can understand. Listen up. So it is mapped to the underlying platform. So it runs very fast on the platform. C language code are translated into format that Windows can understand, that Linux can understand, that Mac can understand. So they run very fast. The instructions can be understood by your operating system. Python language code are not translated into a format that your host machine can understand. They are translated into a format that your pvm can understand and i showed you the list of python commands which are there the byte codes which are there for python and we can actually see the list of python byte codes or op codes also which is there so if i say python byte codes so if i search for the python byte codes list suppose if i say python byte code list it will give me list of all the python uh, byte codes which are there Okay, someday I'll show you the list as well. But you can also search. That's not very special. So, how is the Python program running? Python program does not run on your OS directly. OS does not know how to execute a Python program. There is a C program that behaves as if I'm the machine. That's the PVM. The creators of PVM have written a program that can understand some instruction. That means what switch case is. That means if this is the command. If this is the code that I have encountered, a command is load const. Name ka ek Python byte code hai. Load const hai, so I'll do this operation. I showed you in simple table format. If this is the byte code, do this operation. If this is the byte code, do this operation. Asa ek table hai, dictionary hai. Aap usse kuch bhi kahiyega. Ek switch case hai. Aap usse kuch bhi kahiyega. What to do when that command is encountered? That is a C program. So, uske liye unhone you they have used some C compiler translated that uh, C program into a format that that particular OS can understand. and every os can understand different uh, instruction set or different forms uh, every open system have their own system calls so that program has to be compiled so that it can be understood by different os so i'll have different versions of that program one which can be understood by linux another one that can be understood by windows and mac and solaris and so on so i'll use different compilers windows pe hai to visual c++ linux pe hai to gcc mac pe hai to mac ka jo bhi compiler rahega translate karke pvm ek executable file ban gayi आपके मशीन पे अगर पीवीएम रनिंग है तो आई कैन टेक अ पाइथन प्रोग्राम दैट पाइथन प्रोग्राम इज गोइंग टू गेट कंपाइल्ड ट्रांसलेटेड इनटू बाइट कोड्स बाय अ पाइथन कंपाइलर आई विल शो यू पाइथन कंपाइलर आल्सो एज आई गो हेड दैट विल ट्रांसलेटेड और ये बाइट कोड्स फिर जाएंगे आपके इस पीवीएम के पास एंड पीवीएम चेक करेगा हां एक कोड आया तो आई विल डू दिस ये कोड आया तो आई विल डू दिस सच अ सिंपल इंप्लीमेंटेशन हैज बीन गिवन दैट मींस फॉर एवरी बाइट कोड दैट इट एनकाउंटर्स दिस इज द ऑपरेशन दैट आई हैव टू डू एंड एंटायर स्विच केस ऑफ दैट मोर देन 2000 लाइंस हैज बीन क्रिएटेड इन दैट heart of python don't forget the name of the program it was c eval dot c c e v a l dot c jinhone thoda bahut bhi c language kiya hai i would strongly suggest you 
to have a look at that particular program that will give you a glimpse about how C is put to use to create this virtual machine. थोड़ा सा एक नजर तो घुमा लो and actually it's not that difficult. It's very easy for you to understand. ये क्यों कह रहा हूँ मैं? Because ऐसा भी एक occasion आ सकता है कि जहाँ आपको लगे मेरा वाला खुद का Python बनाना है आपको. So you want to create your own Python? You can do that. You can change the implementation that is there. You can change the implementation. Uh, is PVM different for different OS? It has to be, na. Every operating system. Akash is asking question. Is PVM different for different OS? That is the reason. आपको Python for Linux अलग download मिल रहा है, Python for Windows अलग मिल रहा है, Python for Mac अलग मिल रहा है. Because I repeat once again, PVM का code एक ही है. C language में ही लिखा है. Suppose we are Python Foundation. We write the C program, and I compile it. तो C के प्रोग्राम को कंपाइल करने के लिए आपके पास C कंपाइलर चाहिए बट C कंपाइलर कौन सा चाहिए दैट्स अनदर बिग क्वेश्चन लॉट ऑफ पीपल मेनी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स डोंट यू नो देयर आर डिफरेंट C कंपाइलर्स फॉर एवरी ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम देयर इज अ डिफरेंट C कंपाइलर यानी विंडोज पे प्रोग्राम रन करना है C का ही प्रोग्राम रन करना है आपने एक छोटा सा प्रोग्राम लिखा है गुड इवनिंग एवरीबॉडी प्रिंट करने वाला C का प्रोग्राम बट यू कैन नॉट जस्ट टेक दैट प्रोग्राम एंड रन इट ऑन टू एनी मशीन नहीं पॉसिबल विच योर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम यू प्लान टू रन दैट प्रोग्राम ऑन टू आपको उस ऑपरेटिंग के सिस्टम के लिए बनाया गया सी का कंपाइलर चाहिए आपने वो सी का प्रोग्राम लेना है उसे कंपाइल करना है विंडोज पे चाहिए तो विजुअल स्टूडियो कंपाइलर से कंपाइल करो विजुअल सी प्लस प्लस से एंड देन यू विल गेट द आउटपुट फाइल दैट इज सेम सी प्रोग्राम रनिंग ऑन विंडोज लिनक्स के चाहिए जी सी सी ले लो सी लैंग ले लो विच और कंपाइल यूटेक ट्रांसलेट दैट प्रोग्राम एंड देन ट्रांसलेट मीन कंपाइल दैट प्रोग्राम एंड देन दैट विल रन ऑन यूनिक्स लाइक वाइज फॉर डिफरेंट वेज तो पीवीएम की भी वही बात है बिकॉज पीवीएम भी एक प्रोग्राम ही है और वो भी सी का प्रोग्राम है तो लेट टू टेक डिफरेंट सी कंपाइलर्स यू डोंट हैव टू टेक द क्रिएटर्स ऑफ पाइथन डू डू इट एंड दे विल ट्रांसलेट इट इनटू अ फॉर्मेट सो दैट दैट कैन बी अंडरस्टूड दैट पर्टिकुलर ओएस सो पीवीएम इज नॉट प्लेटफॉर्म इंडिपेंडेंट यानी अगर एक ही पीवीएम होता तो डाउनलोड के लिए भी एक ही पीवीएम देते ना वो दे हैव गिवन डिफरेंट पीवीएमस फॉर डिफरेंट लैंग्वेज बट पाइथन एक ही दिया है That means you can take Python and start running, but Python for Windows, Python for Linux, I say, अलग अलग क्यों दिए हैं? Because the heart of Python language एक ही है. Don't worry. Uh, suppose Devani has Mac and Nikhilesh has Linux and uh, Syed has uh, Windows machine. I'm not going to teach three different Python. I'll teach you the same command. But आप तीनों के machine के अंदर PVM का code एक ही रहेगा. बट उसका translated जो code है, executable C file जो है, वो आपके तीनों के machine पे अलग रहेगी. क्यों? बिकॉज आपके मशीन के कमांड्स लिनक्स मशीन कमांड्स द सिस्टम कॉल्स आर नॉट सेम एज विंडोज आर नॉट सेम एज लिनक्स और नॉट सेम एज मैक हर एक ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम का अपना अपना एक सेट ऑफ कमांड्स होते हैं हाउ टू कैरी आउट दैट पर्टिकुलर ऑपरेशंस तो यू नीड टू यू नहीं द क्रिएटर्स ऑफ पाइथन दे हैव ट्रांसलेटेड द पी इन सच अ फॉर्मेट दैट कैन बी अंडरस्टूड बाई रिस्पेक्टिव ओ सो फॉर एवरी ओ एस यू हैव डिफरेंट पी बट किसी भी ओ पर का कोई भी पी रहेगा दे कैन अंडरस्टैंड आर पाइथन लैंग्वेज सो पाइथन प्रोग्राम इट सेल्फ इज प्लेटफॉर्म इंडिपेंडेंट तो आपको सपोज कौस्तु मेरा एक स्टूडेंट है कस्टमर है क्लाइंट है एनी कम से सर आप में मुझे एक एक पाइथन में एक सिस्टम बना के दे दीजिएगा मुझे कौस्तु को ये नहीं पूछना है आपके पास ओ एस कौन सा है नो नीड वाई बिकॉज वैन आई एम गोन राइट द कोड आई एम गोन राइट दैट कोड फॉर पी वी एम मैं कौस्तु कहूँगा पाइथन इंस्टॉल कर आपके मशीन पर जो भी ओ एस रहेगा कल पाइथ कौस्तु के बाद जब मैक है एंड टूमोर ही रिप्लेस इज मैक्स विद विंडोज माई प्रोग्राम इज स्टिल कंटिन्यू रन ऑन कौस्तु मशीन वाई Because earlier he was having PVM for Mac, now he'll have PVM for uh, uh, Windows. I don't have a problem. So for you and me as a Python programmer, Python is platform independent because we do not write Python code for Windows or Linux for Mac. We write Python code for the PVM. PVM is different for different OS. So it is for that person who is going to run Python program, him to have Python installed on his machine. Means what? He has to have that PVM installed on his machine. And every PVM is different. Does that answer the question? Or किसी को doubt है क्या? Have you understood this concept? ये Python program कैसे run करता है? Yes. Give a quick feedback. Yes, no, please click कीजिएगा जल्दी से. This is a yes. Sir. Everybody, give a feedback. Shivani, Sayed, Yogesh. Sayed, आपका ये last वाला name कैसे pronounce करें? Lujan. Lujan is your first name, then. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Lujan, and what does it mean? Mm, it means happiness. Okay, I call you happy. <laughs> nice happy. Lujan, Lujan. How, how pronounce it once again? Lujan. 
Once again. Lu Jen. Acha Lu Jen. To Jen. Okay. Lu Jen. Okay. So I hope everybody understood this, huh? So PVM is different for different OS. Python is not different for a different OS. Our language is same. So in your machine, there is no OS for us. We are going to write the code in exactly the same language. वो जो रन करेगा वहां नीचे अंडरलाइन स्टोरी इज डिफरेंट सो द ओरिजिनल इंप्लीमेंटेशन पाइथन इज गिवन इन सी लैंग्वेज सो व्हाट वी हैव बीन यूजिंग और व्हाट विल बी यूजिंग इन दिस कोर्स इज सी पाइथन तो कोई आपसे पूछता है कौन सा पाइथन पे काम कर रहे हैं तो हम लोग स्टैंडर्ड पाइथन पे काम कर रहे हैं स्टैंडर्ड पाइथन इज सी पाइथन बट देन दैट्स नॉट द ओनली पाइथन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन दैट इज अवेलेबल आपको पाइथन डॉट ओ पे ही जाके पाइथन को डाउनलोड करने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है बिकॉज दैट्स नॉट द ओनली डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ पाइथन विच इज अवेलेबल Another distribution that I'll be using in this particular course is also Anaconda. So that's another implementation that is available. The chief use case of Anaconda Python are maths, stats, engineering, data analysis, machine learning, and related application. So there are a lot of tools that Anaconda bundles and makes it available. With Python, you get only those two hundred standard libraries that you get. Anaconda bundles all those tools that are all the third-party APIs, all those additional uh, modules and packages which are required. Which are built in Python, listen, ah, which are built in Python, but they are normally require in the field of mathematics, statistics, engineering, and the new world technologies like uh, data analysis, machine learning, AI. उसके लिए जो tools चाहिए, जैसे Sci-Fi हो, NumPy हो, ये Anaconda आपको bundle करके एक जगह देगा, ताकि आपको फिर ये बाद में install वगैरह करने की जरूरत ना पड़े. So that's Anaconda Python that is available. Anaconda provides desktop app. the anaconda navigator that makes it uh, makes makes uh, every aspect of anaconda environment available through gui community yani yeah, aapko koi command yaad rakhne ki zarurat nahi padegi agar aapne anaconda python install kiya to i am going to give you anaconda python also because woh graphical user interface rahega wahan se tick karoge ha mujhe abhi na sci-fi chahiye click karo aa jayega aapke paas so you don't even have to type a command get vagera aisa kuch nahi install bhi install kuch nahi it will automatically do it for you The size of Anaconda installation is much larger than C Python. Graphical user interface चाहिए तो size तो बड़ा आएगा ही आएगा. तो let me take you to this Anaconda implementation of Python and just have a look at it. ये कहाँ है कैसा है? What we were looking at earlier was the C Python. ये देखा हमने Python dot org पे. Browser available and visible है सबको? Yes sir. Yes sir. I can go to Conda. Here you go. I can go to Conda, and from here I can actually, uh, if I require, I can download it. I can read the configuration. Job kuch bhi unhone diya hai ki what is this? All the information release note. the python implementation which is available the latest version that is available that's 9 uh, 4.9.1 that's the latest version it seems that is available and i'm going to release whatever it is there and i can download it i can uh, take the installation all the things are available ye yeah. but the size of this as they have said is quite large ye yeah, iska size kafi bada hai and there is lot but how do you download and where do you download this anaconda from so we have got anaconda this is conda installation you can work with the command prompt you can work with uh, uh the gui as it so conda download so if i go to anaconda download so there are commercial version then there are open source version so you can go in for open source individual edition open source don't go in for commercial so you can go in for individual edition open source and it's your toolkit for data science bahut sare aapko mil jayenge dekho ye conda packages managing environment ye jo main keh raha tha sci-fi jupiter Okay, I'm going to use this Jupiter and Spider. These are Spider is my favorite one. But you'll find NumPy, you'll find Matplotlib, you have you'll find the PyTorch. So these are all TensorFlow, AI के लिए और जो चाहिए. All these tools are already available. So that makes your job very very easy. Let me just start Anaconda for you from on my machine so that you can see the graphical implementation. You will have this Anaconda Navigator that I'm just now starting off with. मैंने अभी अभी स्टार्ट किया है ना कौन नेविगेटर मशीन पे लेट्स सी द डेस्कटॉप 
it's quite large in size, so at times takes some time to start. Here it is, right? the circle is showing. It is starting. And once you start, you'll find a nice graphical user interface from where you can launch anything that you want like to launch. Here you go. Jupyter Lab uh, I am using Spider, so I'm going to use Spider. PowerShell chahiye. Kya chahiye aapko Python mein? Okay, and you can go on to see what all things have been installed. Ye sari cheeze installed hai. Aapko iske alawa kuch aur install karna hai kya? Uh, not installed software. They will give the list of all the softwares which are not installed. Isme se koi bhi software chahiye, module chahiye. Isme click karo aur kahi apply wo download karke automatically install karke dega. You need not know any uh, command for doing that thing. Plus documentation also all available. Pandas pe kam karna hai to pandas ke doc pe apko le jayega. One place where everything is available. So that becomes quite interesting to work with. It will have it is supplying us its own IDs where a kuch available hai. Ya Jupyter Notebook start karna hai to yaha click ki jayega. Jupyter Notebook start ho jayega. It says naya version aa chuka hai. Jaha kahi hai arrow dikhai dega. Iska matlab hai naya version aa chuka hai. Aap usse install kar sakte hai. Spider hai yaha bhi arrow dekh rahe hai. To ye launch kar kya to start. Spider bhi start ho jayega. Or ye keh raha hai update bhi kar sakte hai aap yaha. Ya arrow hai matlab hai updatable naya version available hai. To you can also update it. Mera spider start ho gaya. And I am going to use in this course spider only. That's my favorite IDE. But I'll prime is subse akri me use karna shuru karenge. Uske pehle will get accustomed to Jupiter and everything. Because I want you to be comfortable with any interface that is available. So that's another distribution of Python which is available. And that's this is the one. Okay, let it start. It will list some programs. Here it goes. So it could programs is now open key and that's ready for you to run. Anyway, that was the python.org. So I'm gonna quit. I have quit Python uh, this thing and we are out. So that was another distribution of Python that is available. And that alternate distribution that was available was Anaconda. And it provides you all the packages which are required for data science, math, stats, graphical, graph, kiliye, matplot, leaf, vera hai, sab kuch avail karda. And the best thing is graphical user interface. Aapko koi command yaad rakhne ki zarurat nahi. Click, click karke you can actually start. So that's another. But size is very large. And very large, you want to see the difference in the size. I'll just show you the difference in size as well. Now, if I go with the standard Python, which is available, that comes around 24 MB ka hai installation. Hai. Kitna hai size hai? 24 MB ka installation available. Hai. And if I go in for Anaconda installation, let's check it out. Jaha hai 24 MB ka tha, this is about 466 MB, half GB ka hai. So that's a huge difference. Uh, more than 20 percent, percent means 20, 20 times more. So, 24 MB and 466 MB. Ka hai. So, there is a huge size difference. And I was talking about the latest version of Python, Python 9.2.2, 3.9.2. That's only 24 MB. And Anaconda ka implementation, dekho ge, so that's very, very large. That's about uh, almost 500 MB ka hai installation. So, when I say size is large, it's really, very large. And if you don't require those additional features, you can just not use Anaconda. You could continue to work with your standard Python as well. So that's another implementation of Python in distribution of Python that is available. So we saw two one. One is a standard that is C Python. Second one we saw is Anaconda. We'll be using both in our course. Don't use karne wale. Anaconda we use karenge, and we'll also be working with C Python. Now, there is another implementation of Python that is available, and that's called as Jython. Okay, and you can make your guess. Python other C was standard for C language. So Java J, Python. That's standing for Java. So it is implementation implemented in Java. That means Python is implemented in Java. So henceforth, whenever somebody says you Python is implemented in C language, that means Python language is not implemented in C language. What is implemented in C language? Louder. PVM is implemented in C language. It's not like every Python code gets translated to C language. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Every Python code gets translated to bytecode. And bytecode ko run karne wala jo PVM hai, that may have been implemented in different language. So we also have something called as Jython. And Jython is, uh, sorry, we have something called as Jython. And that's a successor of JPython. So pehle JPython tha, and JPython ke baad aage aapke wasamne Jython. J-Y-T-H-O-N instead of JPython. It's an implementation of Python programming language. It's an implementation of Python programming language, which is designed to run on Java platform. Yane, ya PVM nahi abhi. You don't have PVM. 
where Java programs runs on something called a JVM, Java Virtual Machine. Python ke liye Python Virtual Machine. So here Java Virtual Machine. Now story is different. Huh? Listen. Last time what we said, we had C Python. The C Python code was written in C language. Every Python code that we write was get stream translated to byte codes. Byte codes which can be understood by PVM. So every one virtual machine ka apna khud ka instruction set hai. Byte codes are instruction sets. That is understood that the, by that particular OS. Note करके रखना है आपको. आपके उस notes चाहिए. मैंने कहा था आपको notebook चाहिए. ये सब कुछ चीजें याद नहीं रहने वाली. अगर मैं slide भी दूँ आपको तो भी याद नहीं रहने वाला है. Make sure what I am saying. You should make a note of it. So last time I said your Python code is translated into a format that the PVM can understand. And Python code when gets translated gets converted to byte code. And I told you byte code is a format of instruction that PVM can understand. So PVM का byte code is different and JVM का byte code is different. हर एक वर्चुअल मशीन का अपना एक खुद का इंस्ट्रक्शन सेट होता है दैट्स द बाइट कोड्स तो इट्स अ लैंग्वेज दैट वर्चुअल मशीन कैन अंडरस्टैंड सो इट इज एन इम्प्लीमेंटेशन पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज व्हिच इज डिजाइन टू रन ऑन जावा प्लेटफॉर्म यानी पाइथन का एक ऐसा वर्जन जो जेवीएम पे रन करे पीवीएम नहीं रहेगा भैया यू विल नॉट हैव पीवीएम यू विल ओनली हैव जेवीएम जावा जाइथन अलाउस जावा डेवलपर टू यूज पाइथन लाइब्रेरीज सो इफ यू आर अ पाइथन जावा डेवलपर and you found are python may operation karne ke liye there is a very interesting feature which is there what could you do from within the java program itself you can call python code that means your colleague has implemented some function in python that was very easy to run in create in python it was difficult to do it in java then do that part of the code any yours is a java application java application runs on jvm jaise python application runs on pvm java application runs on jvm now while java application running on jvm you have written one piece of code in a python program and that is the same functionality that you require in java again don't waste your time writing that code again use the python code in java itself but if i'm going to use the python code in java does python language is understand understood by our jvm no to python ko agar main translate karu into python ka pvm ka code that will also not be understood by jvm so there is this jaithan that is there this jaithan gives you an opportunity to use python codes inside java program it has a compiler which compiles your python code into java byte codes the earlier python compiler that i talked about that was compiling the python program into pvm or byte codes understood by the pvm pvm ke byte code now jaithan ke andar ka jo compiler hai that also translates the code python ka program your python code that you have written that is also going to get translated but in what format it will translate it will translate your python code into byte codes but which byte codes not the byte codes understood by pvm the byte codes which are understood by jvm java virtual machine that means we are translating the same program into different languages or different types of byte codes earlier we had translated the uh, python code program into byte codes which are understood by pvm now the jaithan will translate your python program into a format that is understood by jvm now if your python code gets translated into a format which jvm can understand So pass it to the Java virtual machine. Java virtual machine understand Java JVM ka byte code. It will run. That means your Python will run on Java platform as well. So it is not the case that Python ke program ko run karne ke liye PVM hi chahiye. Python ka program JVM pe bhi run kar sakta hai. So advantage kya hai? If you have some module which is already there in Python and you really want to, and Python ka library set is very large, more than two lakh predefined uh, running modules which are available, implementation which are available. जावा में भी इतनी इकोसिस्टम में दो एक लाख इम्प्लीमेंटेशन आपको रेडीमेड फ्री में नहीं मिलने वाले तो इफ यू हैव सम लाइब्रेरी इन जावा पाइथन दैट यू वांट टू यूज इन जावा यूज जाइथन टेक द पाइथन लाइब्रेरी यूज इट एज इट इज जस्ट कॉल इट स्टार्ट यूज इट इन जावा इट रन ऑन जावा एज वेल जेवीएम एज वेल जावा पाइथन अलाउस पाइथन डेवलपर्स टू क्रिएट एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग जावा क्लास लाइब्रेरी यानी उल्टा भी पॉसिबल है It allows the Python developer to create Java applications using uh, use, create application using Java class libraries. Ultra be possible. That means Python ke program me agar apko Java code use karna hai ya Java ke code me apko Python use karna hai. In both the cases, that integration between these two technologies is made possible by Python. So if you want, if you are developing a project and part of it is in Java and part of it is in Python and you want it to work at one, the very same time, use Python. That's Python implementation in Java. Have you understood this? फीडबैक दो यस नो फीडबैक दो जल्दी से समझ में आया नहीं आया यस सर फीडबैक इन टर्म्स ऑफ आई यस नो पे क्लिक करो अच्छा लगता है विजुअल फीडबैक किसी को कोई डाउट रहेगा तो अभी पूछना है 
and it is simple what we are learning you just have to focus and understand there is no point in directly jumping ahead and writing some python commands ha mujhe print karne aa gaya mujhe aa gaya kya ho raha hai agar pata nahi hai kal jaake agar aapko do languages ko do technologies ko integrate karna aapko nahi nahi java ka code java mein likhna hoga python ka code python mein likhna hoga rubbish that was old days today we can write with python java java ke andar python story doesn't end over here all the implementations are available let me show you the other implementation also which are there so we saw two implementation one was c python एंड सी पाइथन में तो जेवीएम ही लिखा गया था पीवीएम लिखा गया था सी में हियर द स्टोरी इज डिफरेंट हियर वी डो नॉट हैव पीवीएम ओनली आई गेटिंग द डिफरेंस इन सी पाइथन द पीवीएम वाज क्रिएटेड इन सी हियर इन जे पाइथन और या जाइथन में द पीवीएम इज नॉट क्रिएटेड इन जावा द पाइथन कोड आर ट्रांसलेटेड इनटू बाइट कोड ऑफ जावा एंड इट रन्स ऑन जेवीएम इटसेल्फ देन ए पाइथन प्रोग्राम इज रनिंग ऑन जेवीएम नाउ पीवीएम का कोई मैटर ही नहीं यू डोंट रिक्वायर पीवीएम ओवर हियर देन we have something called as iron python it is entirely written in c hash and runs on dotnet virtual machine to so, a virtual machine ka concept kya sirf java ke liye hai kya nahi even for even for dotnet we have this dotnet virtual machine or the dotnet platform which is there so it is possible that you can take uh, it is possible to compile the iron python code into an assembly and run it in uh, as it uh, as it is invoked uh, and run it in any other language means you have an opportunity over here to ensure that whatever code that you are writing in python you can run it on that .net platform as well and .net is like the uh, most popular technology from the house of microsoft jahan aapke c hash hai vb.net hai asp.net hai us .net platform pe agar aapko python ka code run karna hai that's also possible but but for that you will not use a c python you will not use jython you will use iron python it is also possible to compile iron python code into an assembly and run it as it as is or invoke it from other languages all dotnet platform languages huh? iron python uses dlr that is dynamic language runtime or clr to allow python programs to run it's a common language interface clr it's a common language interface now that we have talked about this term let me just tell you something more about clr so something you should know as a programmer because hum log python product us python ke bare mein baat karenge ye galat hai even if you are learning python you should be aware of other technologies also which are there dotnet technology is also very popular aapne dekhe rahenge har ek job place mein na jitna java ki demand hai utna dotnet ka bhi demand hai enterprise level mein java hai to simple applications mein dotnet hai but dono ka demand hai both cater to different requirements at times they compete also with each other now i have a uh, chaya with me chaya is working with c hash i have prasad he is working with asp dotnet and i shivani she is working with vb.net i don't have to bother because the fellow aap mein se koi hai ke jisne dotnet pe kaam kiya hai anybody amongst you just cl say click on yes agar aap mein se kisi ne kaam kiya hai to darna nahi hai koi question nahi puchunga dotnet ka nobody shivani haven't you worked on dotnet no so kya baat kar rahe ho college mein nahi tha aapke no आपका ग्रेजुएशन हो गया ना हाँ यू हैड मेट मी करेक्ट यस यस राइट तो आपके कोर्स में नहीं किया था आपने डॉट नेट में प्रोजेक्ट वगैरह नहीं एंड्रॉइड स्टूडियो में था एंड्रॉइड में किया था ओके एंड्रॉइड में किया था तो वो हाँ जेवीएम था पीछे ओके बट समझो आप डॉट नेट पे काम कर रहे हैं अगर आप में से किसी ने डॉट नेट पे काम किया है तो और किया रहेगा तो आप बताना नहीं चाहते सम ऑफ पीपल आर स्केर टू टॉक अबाउट इट देर इज नो रीजन आप नहीं किया तो नहीं बोलो हाँ किया तो हाँ बोलो Why should you be scared? And never be scared about you. Uh, me asking you some question, and uh, if you go wrong, are this is the only place where you have the liberty of going wrong. Not at your office, not at your workplace. Learning करते समय तो गलतियाँ करोगे ना वहीं से तो सीखोगे. Anyway, तो अगर आप .dot net पे काम कर रहे थे, and I said Chaya is working on CH .dot net, uh, and uh, Prasad is working on ASP .dot net, and Shivan is working on VB .dot net. they may be under impression that they are working on different languages. They are different languages. They will write instruction in different format. the in syntax is different everything is different but what happens is they may write in c hash chai is writing in c hash uh, prasad is writing in vb.net uh, asp.net and shivan is writing in vb.net internally all these languages which are language that you run right they are going to run on uh, the dotnet platform the dotnet platform understands one only one language so what your code that you have may have written in any language that will get translated into that common language in uh, form so you may have written a code in uh, c uh, c hash you may have written a code uh, in uh, uh, vb 
But then when you're running the program on .NET, that particular code that you have written will get translated into one common language, uh, which is there. Well, that's an intermediate language. And that's CLR, common language, uh, uh, which is there. So it is not like different languages. They will all get translated into one form of instruction that your .NET platform can understand. Now, if that is the case, what does Iron Python do? Agar aapne abhi Python mein code likha hai, that will also get translated into format. That is that common language uh, in, uh, reference, which is there. And that is a, a format of instruction that your .NET platform can understand. So your Python code can be executed on .NET platform as well. So uh, with these three people who are working with three different languages, Yogesh also joins that particular group. But Yogesh also Java hi aata hai, uh, Python hi aata hai, aur kuch nahi aata hai. They will tell him, "Thik hai, Python aata hai, tujhe Python mein code lik." He will run the code, write a code in Python, and this team, Microsoft ke log hai na, ye run karenge ki C Python pe nahi run karenge. They will use Iron Python. Now when they use Iron Python, Yogesh ne jo Python mein code likha hai, that will also get translated into this. CLR common reference ka jo language, language ref, eh, eh, usi mein translate ho jayega. and once it gets translated into that uh, common language it will be understood even by uh, even by the .NET platform okay Con common language uh, runtime as we call it as uh, the CLR runs the code and provides whatever so, so CLR aapka heart hai .NET platform pe that is the one which will run uh, the code that you write in any .NET, .NET platform languages. So what will this uh, uh, Iron Python do? Iron Python will allow you to run Python programs uh, onto that .NET platform as well. So we have Iron Python. So for every technology, you have Python, which is there. So integration of Python with different technologies is easiest thing to do. Why? Because you have different implementations of Python available. So, if you a Python programmer in Java ke project pe dalo, ya, uh, C, .NET project, pe dalo, bhi dalo. his code that he writes can get run, can get executed on different platforms as well. So, CLR allows Python programs to run on what? It allows Python programs to run on .NET platform, on different platforms. Does it get over over here? No. It was created by Jim Huggins and the same fellow who had created Jaithana. Jisne Jaithan create kiya, usi ne Iron Python bhi create kiya hai. That's not the only implementation which is available. Alter, we also have Win Python. It's a Python distributed created specifically for Microsoft Windows operating system. It does not have to be installed on the machine where it runs. It just needs to be unpacked into a directory. Now that becomes very handy. Agar aap koi ek software bana ke client ko bech rahe ho. Kahi baar kya hota hai? When you're designing some softwares, what happens is when you're designing some softwares, it is quite a pain. And you have to set up the client's machine. That means if you run the client's machine on Python program, you have to install PVM, you have to run Java, you have to run the client's machine on JVM, you have to run .NET program, you have to run the .NET platform. That becomes quite a pain. So in that case, I want to have a mechanism where I can install my program without installing it. So what can I do? With my application, I'll bundle WinPython. Win Python को कोई installation के जरूरत नहीं है, unzip करना है और Python उसके अंदर run करना शुरू कर जाएगा। Is it the best choice available? No. Sometimes it could be quite handy, not always. It doesn't have to be installed. That's the biggest advantage that is there. It just needs to be unpacked, unzip करो और use करो। Win Python also bundles several data science oriented packages like NumPy, Panda, Sci-Fi, Matlably, so they can be used right away without additional installation step. That means you unzip it, आपका application भी उसी के अंदर रहेगा। और आपके जो एडिशनल मॉड्यूल चाहिए वो भी रहेंगे डबल क्लिक करो और यूज करना स्टार्ट करो विन पाइथन दैट इज अवेलेबल इट इज ऑल इट आल्सो इंक्लूडेड आल्सो इंक्लूडेड सी सी प्लस प्लस कंपाइलर बिकॉज द कोड विल गेट ट्रांसलेटेड बट पॉइंट क्या है इंस्टॉलेशन की जरूरत नहीं है यू कैन डायरेक्टली स्टार्ट रनिंग देन देर इज अनदर इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ पाइथन कॉल्ड एस पी वाई पी वाई दिस इज दी मोस्ट फ्लेक्सिबल इंक्लूडेशन विच इज अवेलेबल नाम से कुछ गेस्ट कर पा रहे हैं क्या पाइथन पाइथन Python, 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 which is written in Python. Mein likha gaya hai. <laughs> okay, the implementation of Python written completely in Python. Now you're wondering, yeah, you're pagal bana raha hai That's the case actually. So I'll tell you how it works. Huh? Python, our pass hai. Uh, yeah, uh, Python, our pass hai. So I write uh, created a Python. You wrote a Python program, and that Python program was running on that PVM, Python virtual machine, correct? But is Python virtual machine ka code kisme likha gaya tha? Python virtual machine ka code likha gaya tha inside uh, with C language. Agar aapne socha, ye Python virtual machine ka code jo mene dikha hai tha aapko. What is that file name? Does anybody remember that code that I showed you? Yaad rakhne ke liye kaha tha? Ghar ja ke dekhna hai kaha mene. Kya tha us? C eval dot C. Correct. C eval dot C. 
तो जैसे सी इवेल डॉट सी मैंने दिखा आपको दैट एंटायर कोड वॉज रिटर्न इन सी लैंग्वेज तो क्यों ना वो पूरा कोड पाइथन में ही लिखा जाए दैट्स द बेसिक आइडिया हुई It supports several advanced features not found in other implementation like stackless support and just-in-time compiler. All those advanced features are made available. It's the most flexible one. Reason for that is it's implemented in Python. Py py j just-in-time compiler uh, Python code to work uh, just-in-time. P uh, j i t stands for just-in-time. Ah, huh? uh, it's a just-in-time compiler. So py py j i t that's py py ka just-in-time compiler. Okay, that compiles Python code to machine language, provided providing seven times better speed over C Python on average. क्या बात कर रहे हैं हम लोग? तो what is going to do? This is a fantastic implementation that is available. जरा समझने की कोशिश कीजिएगा. If you really want to make Python program very very fast, थोड़ी देर पहले हमने C और Python के बीच में discussion किया था. Why was C program running faster? I told you. C is a static. No. एक बार compile. That I told you today the reason why was C program running faster. I have a reason. I have told you. Come on. What reason I have told you today? How will it go? Now, now, a few hours ago, I have told you. Why was C program running faster? Okay. Why was Python program running slower? Why was C running faster? Okay. Why was Python program running slower? Because of P P V M. क्या बिकॉज ऑफ पीएम क्या हो रहा था क्यों रो, स्लो हो रहा था सर पाइथन जो है कि वो होस्ट स्पेसिफिक नहीं है कि आ, वो इसी जैसे कि पाइथन विंडोज के लिए अलग बनाया इसके लिए अलग बनाया उसके लिए हर एक आ, मतलब लेनेक्स के लिए अलग बनाया पर सी आ, सी होस्ट स्पेसिफिक है सर आ, नहीं सी लैंग्वेज ऑल्सो प्लेटफॉर्म इंडिपेंडेंट मतलब जो भी इनपुट दे रहे हो तो उसके लिए एक डिक्शनरी में सर्च करना पड़ता है और फिर आउटपुट मिलता है वो okay. वो इंटरप्रिटेशन का स्टेप था दैट इट इंटरप्रिट्स व्हाट पाइथन का कोड इंटरप्रिट कर रहा था क्या बाइट कोड बाइट कोड बाइट कोड बाइट कोड यानी यू हैव अ पाइथन कोड दैट इज ट्रांसलेटेड इन टू बाइट कोड एंड बाइट कोड्स आर रनिंग ऑन द पीवीएम एंड पीवीएम इज रिटर्न सी लैंग्वेज देन इट इज इंटरेक्टिंग विद द अंडरलाइंग ओएस बाय एक्चुअली पीएम वर्चुअल मशीन है वो थोड़ी ना जाके हार्ड डिस्क पर राइट करने वाला है राइट करने के लिए आपके ओएस से बात करनी होगी बट पाइथन कोड वाज नॉट टॉकिंग टू द ओएस इट इज द आप बता रहे हो पीवीएम को और पीवीएम आपके लिए काम करवा दे रहा है फ्रॉम द ओएस एंड सो ऑन सी प्रोग्राम में सी कोड वॉज Directly mapped to the underlying hardware. Can it can directly talk to your OS, underlying OS. So that's the reason we have different C compilers. Every OS for a different C compiler is because what does it do? What does it do? Windows C compiler will translate C language code into a format that Windows can understand. Linux C compiler will translate the C language code into a format which Linux can understand. यानी इसीलिए हमारे पास Windows के लिए Windows का VC++ है, Linux में हमारे पास GCC है, C lang है. There are so many of them which are available. बट उनका काम क्या होता है सी लैंग्वेज कोड को ऐसे फॉर्मेट में ट्रांसलेट करो जो आपके हार्डवेयर आपके प्लेटफॉर्म को समझ में आ सके पीवाई पीवाई डज एग्जैक्टली द सेम यानी पीवाई पीवाई क्या करेगा खुद तो पाइथन में लिखा गया है बट इट विल ट्रांसलेट योर पाइथन कोड नॉट इन अ फॉर्मेट ऑफ बाइट कोड्स अब तक हम बात कर रहे थे पाइथन कोड इज गेटिंग ट्रांसलेटेड बाइट कोड फिर वो जेवीएम का बाइट कोड था या पीवीएम का बाइट कोड था बट बाइट कोड में या फिर इट वॉज सी फॉर द सी का है यूज किया डॉट नेट करेक्ट डॉट नेट के लिए तो यहाँ हर बार देखा कि आपने ये इंटरमीडिएट फॉर्म में ही ट्रांसलेट हो रहा था स्टैंडर्ड इंप्लीमेंटेशन में इट वाज गेटिंग ट्रांसलेटेड टू पाइथन बाइट कोड जाइथन में इट वाज गेटिंग ट्रांसलेटेड टू जावा बाइट कोड आयन पाइथन में पाइथन कोड वाज गेटिंग ट्रांसलेट इन द कॉमन लैंग्वेज रन टाइम एंड दैट्स यूर इंटरमीडिएट लैंग्वेज फॉर डॉट नेट प्लेटफॉर्म पी वाई में ऐसा नहीं है py py will translate it has its own compiler just in time compiler is said and that translates the byte code into machine language now machine language ke liye logon ko lagta hai machine matlab zeros and one hamesha machine language matlab zeros and one nahi machine language matlab aapke host machine ko samajhne wale format mein yani jaisa c ka code run karta hai waise hi machine ko samajhne wale format mein and so it will give you 7.7x speed over your c python on average ye highly optimized code hai just in time compiler it runs very very fast तो कोई आपको अगर बताता है थोड़ी देर पहले जब निकले से सेड पाइथन वो स्लो काम करता है मैंने रुक के कहा था हाँ बिकॉज अगर आपको फास्ट काम करवाना है तो आपके पास पी वाई पी वाई भी अवेलेबल है ओके सो वी हैव मल्टीपल इम्पलेशन ऑफ पाइथन विच आर अवेलेबल एक हम जो स्टैंडर्ड यूज करने वाले साइथन दैट्स नॉट द ओनली पाइथन विच इज अवेलेबल सो क्या क्या देखा हमने साइथन जाइथन आयन पाइथन विन पाइथन 
py py python is what we have seen so there are different implementation of python sometimes it so happens ha huh. aur ek cheez important hai ye jab bhi hum log ye koi bhi python use kar rahe hain at the end of the day ye run kaha ho raha hai hardware pe hardware pvm mein pvm, PVM mein. either on pvm or हार्डवेयर जिसने हार्डवेयर का हार्डवेयर का मतलब क्या डायरेक्ट क्या हार्डवेयर पे जाता है डायरेक्टली हाँ ओ एस यानी प्लेटफॉर्म चाहिए सिर्फ हार्डवेयर नहीं चलेगा आपको क्या दो चीज चाहिए आपको हार्डवेयर भी चाहिए और हार्डवेयर को मैनेज करने वाला ओ एस हैज इट एवर हैपन टू एनी बडी अमाउंट यू की आपकी मशीन में ओ एस ही नहीं है और फिर भी प्रोग्राम रन कर रहा है किसी भी लैंग्वेज का कभी ऐसा हुआ है no, sir. No. No. No, sir. For any program to run on any piece of hardware, क्या चाहिए? OS. 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 I sure आपका background क्या है? I sure आपका background क्या है? Everyone quickly tell me your highest qualification. I sure ऐसे शुरू करेंगे. अरिश्वरा, अनिकेत, छाया, इके. I sure आपका qualification बताइए मुझे. Final year of engineering in computer science. Okay, Prasad. Uh, mechanical engineering. निखिलेश दिस इज अ मिथ कि आपको मशीन कोई प्रोग्राम रन करना है तो उसके लिए ओएस का होना जरूरी है ये बहुत बड़ी गलत फहमी है वी कैन रन प्रोग्राम्स ऑन लॉट ऑफ डिवाइसेस जहां ओएस ही नहीं होता है ऑन बेयर मेटल आल्सो द प्रोग्राम्स कैन रन आपको ये क्या बात कर रहा हूँ डू गो हेड एंड चेक स्पेशली जिनका इंजीनियरिंग ग्रेजुएशन कम्प्लीट हुआ है या जो भी रेगुलर ग्रेजुएशन कम्प्लीट है सेकेंड ईयर के आगे जो है जानना जरूरी है नॉट नेसरी That every piece of hardware that we have, उसके अंदर कोई ना कोई OS होता है जिसमें प्रोग्राम हो कोई जरूरी नहीं है ये क्या प्रोग्राम कैन रन अब एक पूछता हूँ मैं आपने आपने आपके घर में है या मालूम नहीं है आपके पास ये रहेगा एयर कंडीशनर रहेगा या फैन रहेगा या फिर ट्यूबलाइट रहेगी ट्यूबलाइट में कौन सा OS होता है विंडोज या लिनक्स सर्किट बनवाला जाए तो जो विंडोज का लिनक्स नहीं नहीं ना प्रोग्राम साथ साथ के ना साथ अस्तात अस्तात ना बिना इस चीज काम करता था ओ यस सो गेट दैट थिंग ऑफ योर माइंड टू रन अ प्रोग्राम आई रिक्वायर ओएस ये अपने दिमाग में से निकाल दो क्या चाहिए वो बाद में पढ़ो डू सम रिसर्च नाउ एंड फाइंड आउट गेट इट ऑफ योर माइंड तो नाउ दे नाउ इज देयर अ इंटेलिजेंट लाइटिंग अ से your girlfriend is going to come to your place so you like to have that mood set up karna hai aapko acha sa lighting karna hai and that philips ka ad that comes intrigent lighting wo barabar aapke mood ke hisab se lighting bana ke de dega aapko there are so many different options which are currently available for you while you are trying to run the uh, programs rather most of the devices that we come across today are running on devices which are not really computers earlier it was the case ki koi bhi program run karna hai to you need to have a computer today most of the programs mark my word most of the programs today run on devices which are not computers aapka car ho aapki uh, refrigerator ho refrigerator mein kaun sa os hai can you tell me which os is installed in your refrigerator and still there are programs which run i can my aapke paas micro oven hai micro oven mein there are so many buttons and you say oh i want to cook, cook rice oh no i want to cook chicken and then you click on that particular button and that cooking automatically happens that means there are programs which are running सिंपल सा कपड़े आयन करने के लिए जो आयन यूज करते हैं ओ देर ऑल्सो देर इज देर सेटिंग्स एंड विच वेर यू कैन डू सम काइंड ऑफ सेटिंग्स सो गॉन द डेज वेन प्रोग्राम्स रन करने के लिए आपके पास ओ एस चाहिए जरूरी नहीं है योर प्रोग्राम्स रन ऑन बेयर मेटल एज वेल तो इफ यू एवर थिंक कि आपके पास ऐसा कोई डिवाइस है और उसके ऊपर आपको पाइथन प्रोग्राम रन करना है देन यू हैव माइक्रो पाइथन विच इज अवेलेबल दिस माइक्रो पाइथन विल गिव यू एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू रन योर प्रोग्राम ऑन बेयर मेटल्स तो कोई अगर कभी भी कहता है बेयर मेटल है 
इन एक ऐसा डिवाइस है मदरबोर्ड है और उस पर आपको डायरेक्टली पाइथन का प्रोग्राम रन करना है कम्स इन माइक्रो पाइथन प्रोवाइड्स मिनिमल सबसेट ऑफ पाइथन लैंग्वेज यानी पाइथन के सारे फीचर्स नहीं मिलेंगे यहाँ जियो वगैरह नहीं मिलेगा ठीक है ना बट मुझे कोई डिवाइस कंट्रोल करना है एंड फॉर दैट आई हैव दिस बोर्ड्स विच आर देयर इट्स अ सबसेट ऑफ पाइथन लैंग्वेज दैट कैन रन ऑन एक्सट्रीमली लो एंड हार्डवेयर सच एज माइक्रो कंट्रोलर्स माइक्रो कंट्रोलर्स माइक्रो प्रोसेसर्स दीज आर द काइंड ऑफ डिवाइस विच हैव डिजिटल हार्ट बीट दे कैन प्रोसेस कमांड्स तो माइक्रो पाइथन पाई बोर्ड इज अ कॉम्पैक्ट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट बोर्ड दैट रन माइक्रो प्रोथन ऑन अ बेर मेटल यानी कोई ओएस नहीं गिविंग यू लो लेवल पाइथन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम दैट कैन इवन बी यूज टू कंट्रोल ऑल काइंड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक प्रोजेक्ट यानी आपका विंडोज वगैरह कुछ नहीं है उसके पास एक पाइथन ओ एस ही है लो लेवल पाइथन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम ही है यानी पाइथन ही उसे पूरा मैनेज करा है उस डिवाइस से सारे आईओ मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग क्या होता है किसी भी डिवाइस में किसी भी बोर्ड पे आपके पास इंटर आईओ चाहिए इनपुट आउटपुट सिस्टम चाहिए कम्स इन दिस कॉन्सेप्ट कॉल्ड एज माइक्रो पाइथन एंड यू कैन विजिट दर साइट एंड सी मोर अबाउट माइक्रो पाइथन ये दिखाई दे रहा है क्या ये माइक्रो पाइथन वेबसाइट दिखाई दे रहा है नो सर वी कैन सी पीपीटी आई यू कैन सी ये दिखाई दे रहा है या नो वी कैन सी ओके एंड यू कैन गो यू कैन डाउनलोड यू कैन बाय पाई पाई बोर्ड एंड इफ यू टेक पाई बोर्ड यू एज अ प्रोग्रामर कैन राइट प्रोग्राम्स इन पाइथन एंड यू कैन डू ऑल इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स यू कैन मेक योर हाउस इंटेलिजेंट एवरीथिंग एंड दीस आर पाई बोर्ड्स व्हिच आर करेंटली अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट व्हिच हैव ऑल दोस आईओ इंटरफेसेस जो चाहिए एंड दे आर वेरी वेरी चीप एज कंपेयर टू योर फुल फ्लेज मशीन दैट यू लाइक टू हैव
Uh, hello, Rudy. Am I audible? So we talked about Ion Python. And what did I tell you? If you really want to create a device and that device has no other OS installed on it and you directly want to run Python program to control various other components of your hardware, you can get this micro Python, which is also available. Similarly, we also have something called as portable Python. Now this particular portable Python, uh, portable Python is a portable version of Python spider for windows. Portable Python is a C Python runtime for self-containing package. Everything bundled at one place. It has everything that we normally require for scientific programming. We have the MATLAB, Lib, Num, NumPy, some uh, Sci-Fi, Cython, all of them have been bundled together. So we have this portable Python, which is available. The good, best thing about this portable Python is portable Python runs without needing to be installed in windows. It is live in any directory or as a removal drive. That means you can have it in a pen drive everywhere. You do not have it installed in a machine. You can carry it anywhere, the entire portable Python, which is there. On, even on your USB disk, you can have the Python, which is running and you can just run any Python program that is there. That was portable Python. Okay. The last and the most confusing discussion, one more slide I'm gonna take up and then we stop for today's discussion. What is the next thing that we need to know about? There is something called as Rust Python. Now Rust, uh, no, this is not the last one that means there. there is one more thing that is coming up. Rust Python, today Rust is fast emerging as an alternate language for C, C++. Anybody has an idea why is it coming as an alternative language for C++, alternative for C, C++? Anybody has an idea? Has anybody heard about Rust? Okay. Uh, Nikhilesh has learned, learned C from me. What was the most uh, uh, complex part in C language? Nikhilesh? Nikhilesh, are you there? Yes, sir. What is the most complex part in C language? Pointer. Pointers. And pointers that too when we do memory management. So memory management is the most complex part where there is so much of chance of memory leaks and other things which are happening. Now, if you want to have a C, all the powers of C without the problem of memory management comes in a new language called as Rust. Rust is far quickly emerging as an alternative for C programming where it has all the power of C and it takes care of memory management for you. So if you want to have Python running on Rust or running or integrated with Rust, we have Rust Python, which is also available. It is currently supported only a subset of Python syntax, but it is steadily making progress. Since Rust is a new language, you do not have full-fledged Python running on Rust. Some part of Python is already implemented in Rust and slowly you'll find complete Python also becoming uh, made implemented, implemented in Rust. So if you are a Rust programmer and you want to do a bit of Python, you have Rust Python, which is available. And the last one that I plan to stop with my session today is Cython. So you may say, so pehla kya padha tha me? Aray, jo pehla padha tha, wo Cython nahi tha, that was C Python. If you look at the first implementation that we had taken up, it was, let's see what we have written, given a name to it. It was C Y, nahi, C P Y. It was C Python, what we had talked about. The first implementation, what is it? C Python. And what we are now talking about is not C Python. What we are now talking about is Cython. So C Python and Cython are two different things. So what is that different thing which is there between C Python and Cython? Let me just quickly give you a brief about it before we stop for today's session. So we have this Cython which is there. It's optimizing static compiler. It is not the thing that we had seen like different versions of implementation of Python which is available. No. It is a completely different thing. Cython is an optimizing static compiler. What does it do? Cython gives you a combined power of Python and C language. You can also visit to cython.org to know more about it. You can uh, write Python code that callbacks and forth from C or C++ program natively at any point. That means they can interact with each other. C and Python can interact with each other. Cython is an ideal, ideal language for wrapping external C libraries embedding C Python into existing application and for fast modules that can speed up execution of Python code. That means within Python, you will call C functions. Listen what I'm saying, within Python. With C by Python, what is happening? Anybody can quickly recollect and tell me what was happening in C Python? Bytecode is interpreted by PBM. Means whatever code we write in Python is translated into Bytecode. Bytecode. Bytecodes are running on PVM. 
दैट वॉज एंटर स्टोरी द ओनली थिंग वो देर वॉज द पीवीएम का कोड वॉज रिटर्न इन सी लैंग्वेज वेर एज साइथन इज टोटली डिफरेंट साइथन यू कैन थिंक अबाउट एज इफ इट्स न्यू लैंग्वेज विच इज देर वॉट डज इट डू इट अलाउज यू टू कॉल फ्रॉम विद इन पाइथन सी कोड और फ्रॉम विद इन सी पाइथन कोड Cython is an ideal language for wrapping external C libraries, embedding Cython into existing application. That means you have a C code, and that code needs to be, in, uh, or you have Python code, and that needs to be included into C language. All those things are possible. Both language can talk to each other. Your Cython can talk to C. Cython, na C by your Cython, na C Python can talk to C, and C can talk to your uh, C Python. When I use the word C Python, I mean the regular Python that is there, na. Huh? so your c can talk to python python can talk to c that means with c language also you can embed python code like earlier we talked about we can run python code along with java java can call python python can call java if you want c can call kai python and uh, python can call c then i'll not work with c python i'll work with cython cython allows you to integrate c and python c++ and python both together so if you really want to make your python code work very fast don't work with cython the pure python that we have cython uh, c python don't work with c python that c python is the original implementation of python that we are going to learn work with cython what will cython do c y t h o na c p y n c python and cython these are two different things c python and cython are two different things cython is a combination of c and python and c python is a python whose engine is written in c language that's the bigger difference but from c if you would like to call python from python you would like to call c in that case you need this c python which is available so you can visit this cpython.org and you as a c programmer can wherever you do not have support in c language to carry out some operation you can call python library and within the python program you want to call some c function that's also possible and that combination of c++ and c with python can be done by using this cython so these are different implementation of python which are currently available for you so python is not just like any other language where you learn java you write entire life keep on writing code only in java at the most in c with python you you have an integration with c c++ by using cython with java by using jython with py uh, with uh, .net platform by using ion python and with rust by using rust python so you can as a programmer integrate your python program with any other technology so that makes python very very interesting so if you are a company who have already implemented some code in c language and you want to now have a new developer who is joining in and he knows only python you can still make him be a part of your contribute to your team because now in that case i can use cython and that will allow that c code and the python code both to interact with each other that's something that only python can do not many languages will have such a flexibility to be a part of any technology stack that is what python can actually make it available for you so that was an introduction uh, to various implementation of python which is there we have covered up the introduction of python next session when we meet we actually uh, uh, start with python as a programming language our introduction is over now next session will be starting with python programming language aapke koi dost ho jo python mein interested hai also inform them about the uh, python language that we are starting ये पहले तीन सेशंस वर ओनली ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन टू पाइथन नाउ दैट वी हैव फिनिश्ड विद इंट्रोडक्शन नेक्स्ट सेशन वी स्टार्ट ऑफ विद पाइथन एज अ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज थैंक यू ऑल फॉर इन द सेशन कोई डाउट है तो पूछिएगा अदरवाइज वी आर डन फॉर द डे टुडे